So in this video, let's talk about the 707 by Boeing. I mean, you should all pretty much know the plane already. It was basically one of the first jet airliners out there. Yes, this plane is pretty damn old. It came out in 1958. And you can definitely tell that age, even though this plane aged very, very well. I mean, the engines look very, very interesting. As you can see, they are a lot slimmer than the engines that we have today. But overall, the fuselage looks pretty okay. I mean, we can see pretty much the exact same fuselage design in the 737. I mean, obviously, the 737 is a lot slimmer than this plane. But in general, this plane aged very, very well on the outside. Which is why this plane is actually still in use, at least partly. Which is just extremely interesting. Now, the cockpit looks okay. Obviously, this plane is from the 50s. We barely have any screens. This is probably a more modern version of the 707, which has an actual flight management computer, as you can see down here. But in general, we have steam gauges. 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 This is the overhead panel. Looks very Boeing-like. You know, most Boeing overhead panels have a specific style to them. Now, back in the 50s, you still had three people sitting in the cockpit. You know, you also had a flight engineer that watched the instruments and all that. But I've seen a lot more complicated planes from the 50s, definitely. This plane seems to fly just fine, right? Talking about flying, let's try that one. Now, flying, it does in real life. There are still several 707s flying around, especially in Middle East countries or in some other parts of the third world, you can definitely find 707s on this planet still flying around. This plane heavily reminds me of especially the old 737s, which are actually also still in use, even though they are like 30 to 40 or even 50 years old. They are still flying around. It's just crazy. Oh yeah, the engines back in the days created a lot of black smoke. But oh damn, this thing is going very quick. Now, the actual first jet passenger plane that ever came out was the British Comet plane. Actually, I also made a video about that one. The Comet plane, though, was a failure, which the 707 was not. Actually, 1,000 707s were built, which is just very good, especially for a first-of-its-kind kind of plane, you know? This plane was performing really, really well. It made a lot of sales. Oh, damn. What was that? So, yeah, while it's not the first plane, to have jet engines, it is definitely the first plane to revolutionize the jet engine technology. Yeah, I don't know the crash record on the 707, but it probably wasn't very good. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, back in the 50s, all crash records of planes were bad. Actually, 20% of all 707s built were destroyed in a crash within the last 60 years or so, which is not a very good record, definitely. You know, pretty much every fifth 707 was destroyed. But again, that was just very, very typical of these old planes. Now, let's actually try landing this one. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. Mm -hmm. Let's land this one. You know, I've seen worse landings, I guess. Let's just stop. Oh my god, that black smoke. Oh, this is quite a quick stopper. Now, as of 2013, there were still 147 707s used in civil air transport. And the reason for that is really just the same reason why the 737-200s are still in use. You know, these old planes were pretty tough. They can still perfectly fly nowadays, so why not use them nowadays, you know? They are obviously a lot cheaper than the new planes. You know, obviously buying is a lot cheaper and operating is a lot cheaper as well, even though they might not be safer than the newer planes. Now, there are also a lot of military versions of the 707, like the EC-18. Let's spawn into this one. Yeah, this is the EC-18. This is quite a special plane, as you can tell by the nose. Um, yeah, this special nose design allows this plane to have some special radar features. I don't really know what it really does. Probably one of the most ugliest plane designs I have seen in a while. Yeah, I wonder how it is to land this plane. You know, the antenna is actually not really blocking the view, so that is good. It just doesn't look that nice. <laughs> Nice. Now that was quite a good landing. Yeah, the Americans experimented a lot with this plane. There are quite a lot of interesting military versions of it. I mean, what can I say? The plane still flies. That is good. And so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.